Alrighty, what you're looking at here is a skeleton, a human skeleton without a jaw. Sadly, it's just been lost over the years. But what you can actually probably see is QR codes which have been placed strategically on the different parts of the human skeleton. Those QR codes, when scanned, actually reveal the name of the bone. So what we've been doing in class is the kids have been walking around scanning them and to help them learn the different bone names. And the way they've been doing that is, quite simply, my computer is connected to a webcam. The webcam goes towards the QR code and scans it. Okay, firstly you've got to run the program that's, um, that lets you do that, and I'll put that in the blog post, and then the computer identifies what that particular um, bone or QR code links to. You can also link those codes to web pages or any sort of um, further information that they needed to learn. And to make it even easier, you can also read the QR codes with a mobile phone. Okay, most mobile phones these days come with the QR codes already installed. However, I'll put a link so that you can download a QR code reader, and that just uses the phone's camera to pick up the QR codes. Okay, so they were only linking to um, the bone names, which helped the kids learn them. At first, they were all in the right location. So that's the femur. It actually, that one there says femur. That one I'm pointing to now. However, afterwards, I actually got the kids to jumble them up and then scan them and put them back in the right spot. So although, although this has been used in a PE context, there's no reason why you couldn't use it for any sort of reveal activity or anything along those lines. And to make it really engaging, the computer displayed the um, correct answer on the whiteboard, which the kids could then um, answer on their sheets, which is really, really good. So they were walking around. When they were stuck on something, they were basically just scanning it to, to learn what it was. And if we continue to do this process, we should find that their, their learning improves, hopefully. Automating the whole process with our little bone skeleton and our QR codes. So how do you think you could use this? I'd love to see how you, you think you could.